I'm the battalion chief assigned to the uh, disaster response section overseeing this facility here. On behalf of Fire Chief Crowley, I'd like to welcome, to, welcome you to our urban search and rescue facility, which is home to the LA City Fire Department's FEMA Urban Search and Rescue Task Force, California Task Force 1. Also our regional USAR Task Force, Regional Task Force 9. Our staffed USAR apparatus, which is behind you here, USAR 88. Uh, the LAFD Swift Water Rescue Program and the seven acre John Rudy Memorial Training Center, which is the LAFD's regional USAR training facility. In addition, we have our wildland fuel management unit, which maintains and operates a fleet of wildland dozers and heavy equipment and a wildland hand crew. A lot of the equipment you see here uh, on site. All of these resources stand ready to assist the city of Los Angeles, the state of California and the United States in preparation for response to and recovery from natural and man-made disasters. There are several converging events taking place here today that prompted this uh, press conference and gathering. First and fo foremost is the disaster response to Turkey and Syria where multiple catastrophic earthquakes have wreaked havoc throughout that those, both those countries. Our, our hearts go out to those who have lost their lives, their loved ones who have survived, the injured who have been rescued or await rescue, and the responders uh, working to save their lives, including our brothers and sisters from the LA County Fire Department, International Urban Search and Rescue Team, USA2. Uh, the second event, uh, this happens to be the 52nd anniversary of the Silmar earthquake. <clears throat> On the morning of February 9, 1971, at approximately 6 a.m., a magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake rocked the San Fernando Valley claiming 64 lives and causing widespread damage throughout the city. Both incidents are a reminder that we all need to be prepared when it comes to taking care of our households when disaster strikes. I encourage everyone to visit cert-la.com for information on developing a disaster preparedness plan. Third, this week the LAFD is hosting a regional uh, technical search specialist course here at the John Rudy Memorial Training Center. This course is unique in that the instructor cadre and student base is made up of members from various fire departments who are hosts to the uh, uh, regional USAR task force, including LAFD's regional task force nine. This course is funded through the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services and supported through the California Specialized Training Institute. During this week-long course, students will learn the latest in search operations utilizing state-of-the-art technical equipment including search cameras and listening devices, as well as a new search and rescue common operating platform, or SARCOP, for real-time search coverage situational awareness. Today this class is complete, uh, competing, completing a real-world exercise simulating search needs following an earthquake. We have, one of our CATF, we have a few of our CATF-1 dogs also participating in this exercise, as you see behind me. So these techniques and tools that, uh, and equipment uh, are the very same that are being utilized in Turkey and Syria for that response. Another key component of this training is that when a disaster strikes that exceeds the capabilities of the affected response agency, that, jur that jurisdiction will need help from its regional response partners uh, through the mutual aid system. This class and others like it provide an opportunity for our agencies to train together following pre-established operational guidelines and standardized tools and equipment. In this class, we have members from the LAFD, Oxnard, Long Beach, Fresno, Lompoc, Santa Maria, Monrovia, Pasadena, and Monterey Park Fire Departments. Uh, at the end of this uh, deal, I encourage you to take some time and observe the operations taking place. We'll assist in getting you uh, to some good positions for that. Uh, we ask that you remain with our guides that we'll have with you uh, and not interrupt the operations as the class is taking place. Uh, before I wrap this up, I'd like to take a minute to thank a couple agencies that without their generous support uh, shoring up our budget shortfalls, this facility and everything that we have going on here, all the life-saving programs that we represent uh, would struggle to maintain the high level of service that we provide. First, the LAFD Fire Foundation. The LAFD Fire Foundation provides vital equipment and funds uh, critical programs to help the LAFD save lives and protect communities. Many of the structures and training site props you see here, as well as a variety of life-saving tools and equipment and vehicles, were provided through generous donations to the foundation. 
You can visit supportlafd.org to learn more about the program and the support it provides to the LAFD. Uh, in addition, uh, secondly, the National Search Dog Foundation. Uh, the SDF is a nonprofit, non government organization based in Santa Paula, California. Uh, their mission is to strengthen disaster response in America by rescuing and recruiting dogs and partnering them with firefighters and other first responders uh, to find people buried alive in the wreckage of disasters. The, F the SDF has provided many canines to the search and rescue community over the years, and next week three LAFD members of California Task Force One will begin their training with the SDF and will be matched with a search dog. Three of the search dogs from that program are here behind us. Uh, with that, I'll turn it back over to uh, Captain Scott and invite any uh, questions at this time. We'll go straight to questions. You okay. Need. Any questions? for me or any of the staff behind us. Do you guys plan to send a team to <clears throat> We don't. Uh, there's only two uh, international teams in the United States. That's uh, LA County Fire, USA 2, and then uh, Fairfax, Virginia, which is USA 1.